everyone. Welcome to our latest devlog where we answer your questions about game security and PUBG Mobile. One of the most common questions we get is, how are you making sure leaderboards are fair? The leaderboards in PUBG Mobile are some of the most heavily scrutinized areas of the game. We utilize multiple strategies to monitor individuals on the leaderboard. This includes machine learning, eligibility restriction, manual review, video review station, and more. Right now, these systems work together very efficiently. We do have plans to both increase restrictions on who is eligible and improve the accuracy of our automated detection in the coming months. We'll also be increasing the number of staff specifically dedicated to keeping the leaderboards clean. Another question that we see a lot is, is it possible for people to get unbanned by paying a service advertising on social media? Does anti-ban work? One major problem companies selling cheating software face is their customers get banned in PUBG Mobile, which is really bad for their business. But since these companies have a few morals, their best strategy is to lie to their customers and claim they have technology that doesn't exist. They're selling services to cheat in a game. These aren't honest or trustworthy people. Anti-ban doesn't exist, and cheats simply can't prevent reports from being sent in-game. You have all frequently asked us questions, such as why don't you use two-factor authentications? How come devices aren't banned more often? Rest assured that all of these different options have been strongly considered and evaluated. Unfortunately, there are a number of compelling reasons as to why some options are also problematic. These include legal restrictions in different countries around the world, ease of evasion, and negative impact on honest players. Just by utilizing commonly available software, you can make your phone appear to be connecting from anywhere in the world, or generate local phone numbers and obscure details about your device used for identification. These changes wouldn't hurt hackers, but they would hurt honest players. We've also been asked why cheats aren't always detected immediately. Our goal is always to maximize the speed of catching cheaters and minimize the amount of time they spend in game. But accuracy is important too, and sometimes we need to investigate deeper due to network issues. What appears to be cheating could be a poorly performing device that starts behaving unusually. As soon as we have 100% confirmation of cheating behavior taking place, we immediately ban the account in question. Our systems that operate in real time often rely on computers interpreting data in-game, which takes a certain amount of processor resources and memory. With tens of millions of players logging in daily and thousands or tens of thousands of matches, each containing up to 100 players, going on simultaneously, the amount of computing power and memory usage is a scale that is difficult to imagine. This is why we utilize both computer-based and real human observation as well as some added systems like the video review station to enhance our efforts and catch cheaters much more quickly. People also want to know how we penalize people for teaming up with cheaters. Well, teaming up with cheaters to gain ranks or rating is an indirect form of cheating and is subject to an escalating series of penalties ultimately leading to account banning. For a first violation, this is a simple removal of any ranks or rewards gained along with a warning and an extended period of observation. People who repeat this behavior after being warned have greater penalties applied. You don't have to worry about possibly being randomly matched with a cheater. We can spot this scenario and it's not something that will get you in trouble. But if you see a teammate cheating or even just suspect they are, it's best to report them and let us make sure. If people tell you they can help you rank up super easily, or it's impossible for them to lose, be careful. They may just be taking a risk with your account too. Esports are another area where people have questions, wondering what security measures we utilize to make sure esports events are free from cheating. Pro esports players are incredibly difficult to analyze. They are playing the game at a different level, routinely making shots that would be impossible for the average player and doing so over and over again. Fortunately for these events, we can do a lot more to ensure that cheating doesn't take place. The situation with COVID-19 has made this slightly more complicated, but we've adapted and applied these strategies to online-only events. These can include high-tech solutions, 
like doing a much more thorough real-time analysis than is possible in normal games. There are also low-tech solutions like providing pros a device they can't install new software on. There's much more we can't comment on at this time, so cheaters don't know how we're stopping them. Trying to cheat in esports is a great way to get banned very quickly. We've also had people ask if multiple reports of a player in a short period of time trigger an automatic ban. Bans are never issued solely on the basis of reports, but player reports are a great way to alert our security team to potential problems. Reports help us prioritize and evaluate who we need to look at more deeply into. If we know that someone is acting suspiciously in game, we can direct far more resources into verification. That includes machine-based and human observation of their gameplay. The more people that report someone, the more suspicious it looks and the faster it can happen. So lots of reports won't get someone banned directly, but it will help us catch cheaters faster and more accurately. To wrap things up, we've made a lot of improvements over the last year that have greatly reduced the ability for players to cheat in game. We're catching them quicker identifying them more accurately and providing fairer and more competitive games for our players. But we can't rest on our accomplishments. Cheaters aren't going to stop trying to get any advantage they can. In 2021, we're working on expanding our security team to help us respond more quickly. Being even more accurate will allow us to ensure no one gets falsely accused of attempting to cheat and cutting off cheats at the source wherever we can. Many of the initiatives we're planning on need to remain confidential to maintain the element of surprise and achieve maximum impact. We're committed to sharing more information more frequently so that you can know what's being done to keep the game safe. That's it for today's devlog. Thanks and see you next time.